Welcome to the EDF Energy World Half Marathon 2009, right here in Birmingham City Centre. 12,000 people are taking part in this event from all walks of life. Some of them will be trying to beat their personal best in timings. Others will be hoping to raise lots of money for good causes. What's your name? Amy. How are you feeling? Uh, a bit knackered, but please, nearly done. Excellent. Are you, are you going for a personal best here? Uh, trying, yeah, anything under one foot, so I'm alright at the moment. <laughs> Hi there, what's your name? It's Jane Box. How are you feeling? Fantastic. <laughs> are you doing this for a good cause? I'm just doing it for myself. Hoping to get a personal best? Yeah. Well done, good luck. Oh, she's really fast. So I'm joined now by Gail and Val. Um, and tell us a little bit about who's taking part in this at the moment. Uh, my husband, Nick. Uh, my brother, uh, Val's husband, Ian and my husband's friend Martin and they're all running for Acorns. Fantastic, Hospice. good charity obviously. Absolutely, and close to our heart as well. Why is that? Um, my daughter's got San Felipe Syndrome and attends Acorns and without them, well, I don't know where we'd be. They've been an absolute fantastic support to us and they give us valuable respite, which is important. Hi there, what's your name? David Ward. Are you doing this for a good cause? Um, BKU, it's for children's children charity, basically Birmingham Children's Hospital. Fantastic, well done, you did really, really well. Yeah. I'm only doing a couple of hundred yards. These guys are doing 13 miles, they're mad. Well, the finish line is just behind me. You can see the pain etched on some of these people's faces. On, but in just a few seconds' time, I'm sure that's going to change to pride and total elation. Henrietta and Emma, you've just finished. How do you yeah. feel? Oh, so relieved. Yeah. I can't wait for my pizza. <laughs> I'm very hungry. But yeah, I can't even remember doing it anymore. I'm just glad it's over. Do you do any sort of like personal best? Are you timing yourself? I thought I might do a personal best, but I don't think I will have done that. I did the one last year, and this seemed easier, but it wasn't somehow. And Faye, Hannah, Josie, how's, how's today gone? Really well, actually. There's like people the whole way around cheering you on, so it's really good. Yeah. Kept us going, definitely. All the hills came in the second half, though, so I was dying. <laughs> Big hills, some of them as well. Real stretch you can see them around the corner. Pain etched on people's faces as they're going round. How um, was it for you guys in terms of any personal bests at all? Or were you just running for a good cause? Well, it was my first one, so this is a personal best. <laughs> yeah. 12,000 people taking part, about 70,000 people here watching. Great atmosphere. It's just, it's absolutely tremendous, Mel. There are people here who've just come for a carnival. It is a party atmosphere. We've got all our heart hands waving and all the heart flags. And to see all the people that have been running come across the finish line and get the thermal blankets and they're all standing there and they're enjoying the singing, they're enjoying the drumming. It's just such, a, it's a huge party and that's what it is. And there's a lot of people who are really proud of the achievement they've done and it's a huge achievement to run 13 miles. But the fact that they're stopping here in the grey and the west as well, it's just a great event to be involved with. So I'm joined now by Rachel from Heart Breakfast. How was it? It was good. It was a bit slower for me than last year. Three minutes slower, but it was great. It was good. The atmosphere is brilliant. It's always just a brilliant thing to be part of. Lots of little kids on the sides as you go around wanting to high five you and people cheering you on. It helps when you have your name on your t-shirt. People shout go Rachel even if they don't know you, which is nice. So it was great. Good news is I overtook Batman, which is, you know, like you can beat a superhero, then you're onto something. But I was beaten by a man wearing just a nappy. So, you know, slightly shameful there, but no, it was a great day, brilliant. How are you going to celebrate now? Uh, hot bath, uh, big plate of chips. 